Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a couple more of these uh, Marvel Legends 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures. And uh, these are the ones that are done in sort of a, a retro style. Um, they are not very articulated. They only have uh, between like five and seven points of articulation, depending on which uh, figures you get. And, uh, but I really like them uh, just because uh, they're not very expensive to buy. They usually run around $10 at retail maybe a little bit more uh, if you buy them through an online dealer. Uh, these ones I actually got from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, they had a much better um, selection in terms of uh, what was available because uh, it's kind of hit and miss when you go to retail what you're going to find. So, uh, so I picked up these two, and what we're looking at today are Captain America and U.S. Agent. And uh, these two figures actually use the same exact uh, molds and tooling for both of the figures. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you that up close in a minute uh, so you can see it's basically the same figure. Uh, U.S. Agent is just uh, the same same figure as Captain America, just, uh, you know, repainted uh, to look like U.S. Agent instead. So uh, so let's take a look at Captain America up close. Um, as you can see, uh, they did a really good job in terms of the detailing and sculpting on the head sculpt and everything. I think that looks great. And, uh, you know, nice, good, clean details on his uniform and also the shield. That looks really nice. So I believe there's a, a point of articulation at the forearm. I believe that might rotate because it does appear that this is a separate piece of plastic from the rest of the arm. So I think this figure actually has uh, seven points of articulation instead of just five. But uh, the rest of the articulation is pretty standard. Just head rotation, rotation at the shoulder. Uh, back and forth at the hip. That's pretty much it. So uh, if there is more articulation, let me know in the comments. Uh, I've been keeping all these in the package just because I think they look fantastic in the package. And, uh, you know, I, I may take some of them out just out of curiosity to see uh, what the overall articulation is like. Uh, but uh, these look fantastic uh, just the way they are uh, in package uh, because they do this uh, fantastic artwork on the front of the card. Uh, has a very kind of uh, retro look to it, retro styling in terms of the overall presentation of these figures. Uh, they look very much like uh, they were produced uh, back in the 70s or 80s, but they they are brand new. Uh, these are uh, 2021, as you can see on the date on the back of the package. And on the back, uh, you also get a picture of Captain America and then a brief write-up up here about the character himself. So... Uh, cool looking figure and then uh, on US agent again this is uh, the same exact uh, sculpting as Captain America you can see that head sculpt is exactly the same and it's just uh, repainted in different colors so that it becomes a US agent and uh, for those of you who don't know uh, US agent is a character who came uh, after Captain America and uh, basically uh, took on some of the same uh, kinds of roles in terms of his responsibility as a superhero. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, they've recently brought this character into the MCU. Uh, for those of you who watched the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, uh, they introduced this character, and uh, it was pretty interesting. Um, the actor who portrayed him did a fantastic job. Uh, it's one of the highlights of that show is how uh, John Walker is portrayed. And uh, so I'm, I'm guessing we haven't really seen the last of this character. Um, I think they introduced him for a specific reason in that show and that he will play a role in uh, future projects for, for the MCU. Uh, and again, uh, nice artwork on the front and then on the back, uh, same artwork and then a brief write up here on US Agent, AKA John Walker. So, uh, yeah, I think these look great. Um, you know, they don't have a ton of articulation like normal Marvel Legends figures, but uh, I like them because uh, the three and three quarter inch size, which is my preferred size for collecting action figures, you know, particularly, uh, you know, ones where you're going to have a lot of characters like exist in Marvel Comics or DC Comics. I kind of prefer this scale. So you can build quite a collection of these uh, in this series. So... And I've collected uh, quite a few so far, and I will be reviewing more of them on the channel. So if you want to see those reviews, uh, think about subscribing to the channel, because I will be covering a lot more of this in future videos. If you enjoyed this one, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for watching.